I've picked up a bottle of Alban Rose made with Aleatico grapes famously grown here on the island to use in a recipe I'll rustle up on the beaches of the mines. I think this is going to work really well with my next recipe because I'm doing a saffron risotto with peas and grana padano cheese. And sorry if you see me tapping up and down, the sand is extremely hot. Uh, because as you can see, it's all black sand, full of iron around here, and it's really, really hot. Let's get the risotto started. You just need to learn a couple of basic tips, which I'm going to go through with you, and the job is done. So, first of all, get yourself a large pot and start to add olive oil to toast the rice grain. Coat either arborio or carnaroli rice in the oil and stir for three minutes. It's going to create a seal around the rice, so when it cooks, it will stay nice and al dente. Never look at the oil bubbling around each rice grain. That tells me that it's toasting beautifully. At this point, straight away, finely chopped onion in the rice. Now, the trick with the onions when you make a risotto is to make sure that you don't color the onions, so don't overcook them. Stir for another five minutes until the onions are soft and translucent. Then it's time to add a glass of my Alban Rosé. It's going to work really beautiful. Remember, whenever you cook with wine, you need to allow the alcohol to evaporate and the flavor of the wine to stay in. So put the wine and let it bubble for a couple of minutes. You can use any rosé or white wine found more locally to you. Just make sure it's dry and delicate. Okay, now let me prepare the saffron. A little expensive saffron is, but the flavor goes a long way. So you want a nice pinch of saffron strands. And then the way to do it, I got some vegetable stock over here, which is warm. Just put some vegetable stock straight in and start to melt the saffron into the stock. Now look at the way the color is changed immediately. Amazing. Pour in all the saffron, add two ladles of vegetable stock and simmer. All right, so now at this point, the secret is simple. As soon as you see the rice absorbing the stock, then you add a little bit more. Remember, from the beginning until the end, maximum 20 minutes of cooking. Once the rice is cooked, but still has a light bite, add in the other ingredients. I'm using peas, but you can add meat or fish or whatever you fancy. Now, let me show you the number one tip when you're making a risotto. How do you get the creamy texture at the end? Do you add cream? Absolutely not. The only way to do it is butter and cheese. Add a large knob of butter then grate in the same amount of grana padano, a cheese similar to parmesan. Now is what is called mantecatura in Italia. Mantecatura is when you stir the butter and the cheese very fast into the rice. See what's happening, as you're stirring, you're releasing the starch from the rice grain, the butter and the cheese, they get together, and you get a natural creaminess to the risotto. I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper, Oh, I can really taste the rosé. Beautiful. Serve up the risotto, garnished simply with a small grating of cheese and drizzle of olive oil. Look at that. Simple saffron risotto with peas made with local rosé wine.